Hi, this is Meghnath. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install SQL Server 2016 Express Edition. So let's get started. Now, first thing, I'm opening Google Chrome and search for SQL Server 2016 Express Download. So I'm searching for SQL Server 2016 Express Download and uh, so click on this. So now you can see here SQL Server 2016 SP1 Express Edition. So I'm seeing this and let me click on download now. Now you can see the download has started. Um, it's almost done. And let me open this show in folder. And now right click on this and run as administrator. Click on run as administrator. Now click yes. Now it will open a small pop-up in a while. So it is installing and basic custom and download media. So let me select the basic basic one and click accept. And I'm fine with the path installation path. Click install. Now it is downloading the additional software that is required. So you can see here it is uh, downloading the required files almost like um, 400 MB is there so it's downloading and installing. Now the downloading part is done it is installing the database engine. Installation is halfway through. Okay now you can see that the installation of uh, database engine part is done. So you can see here uh, the features installed is SQL Engine. So now we need to install SSMS, SQL Server Management Studio. So that will act like a editor for your S database engine. So let me install it. So you need to click on this install SSMS. So let's click on this. So let me open it, uh, open it in browser, Edge browser. And now let me click on this download. And let me save as desktop. So it is almost like showing two minutes. Now you can see that the download is done. So let's go to the folder, open folder. And here I saved it in desktop. Right click on this, run as administrator. And now we are installing SSMS. So it will open a pop-up and click install. So now it started installing SSMS. Okay, so now I'm done with the installation of SQL Server Management Studio as well. So first we install SQL Server Database Engine and then we installed the uh, SQL Server Management Studio. So that's called SSMS. So that's it. We are all set to get started with SQL Server. We're done with the installation part.